Hey Collective, how is everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am doing amazing. Came in to do a quick energy check. <clears throat> so let's see what Spirit want to talk about. Thank you. If this is your... Okay, now, <laughs> if this is your first time, welcome. Thank you so much for letting us know. Some of you could be into trucking. If you are, I am giving dispatch training courses available. If you are interested, all of the description is in the community chat. All you have to do is be a part of the Moo Tribe family to see the information. Other than that, I hope everyone is doing good. Let's see what Spirit want to talk about. At the bottom of the deck, Spirit is saying, we have the Knight of Wands, okay? So something very passionate, fiery, unexpected, and exciting. <clears throat> Time for you to go out there and do whatever it is, or somebody's coming in to check on you. And they're eager to do this, okay? So let's find out about the Knight of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. What is the Knight of Wands? Please and thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> so we have the Ace of Cups. Nice. And we have the Four of Swords. Okay. So somebody really wants to come in and start something new with you. Or you could really be hoping for a new start. Um, when it comes to love, when it comes to, you know, <clears throat> something you want to start or do, um, even, you know, seeking out something like partnerships or some really good news. I'm not really sure. Let's find out what you have been meditating on. What is hidden, Spirit? What is hidden when it comes to the Four of Swords and the Ace of Cups? What is this passionate? Ooh. All right. So, <clears throat> sudden changes. While you're focusing on something new, you're manifesting this with the Knight of Wands. Okay? Because Wands is all about movement. And, and I, I just feel like it's all in the manifestation. Right? All right, so <clears throat> some sudden change is coming in, something you probably wanted. Um, you, it's going to be unexpected. So at the same time, I'm, I'm picking up that at the same time that you minding your damn business, something is coming in from the universe that's going to cause a sudden turn of events when it comes to things that you've been hoping for, okay, praying about, okay? Um, <clears throat> maybe somebody wants to come in with a new beginning and this is going to surprise you because, um, maybe you wasn't aware that this person would come back into your life. Um, maybe you guys ended on bad terms. Give me clarity on the star spirit, okay? So, sudden turn of events brings in, this tower brings in um, some some type of healing because you have the four sports and then you have the star. So, some, some answers to your prayers is what I'm hearing. What are these answers to the collector's prayers when it comes to love? Wow, you saw how the sun flipped out? <laughs> you know... This is why I do what I do because no matter how I'm feeling, like, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. I just been talking to Spirit all day because I want to make moves. But Spirit is like, hold on just a second, okay? And so <laughs> when I come and do this reading, I just get excited and empowered and, and my hope and faith is just renewed. And I feel like that's what this is This is coming in for you guys if you're feeling like that, right? I want my happiness. I deserve it, right? I've been praying about it, right? Something suddenly happens that's really going to bring a lot of healing 
and it's got something to do with you with your wishes right i mean when you got the star you got the sun the star the tower and the ace of cups that's crazy you got three major arcanas a new beginning and a retreating healing energy okay at the bottom of the deck we have the hierophant so this is definitely from spirit or you could be having a taurus in your energy that is definitely wanting to come in and bring some type of happiness in your life okay so expect good things okay Let's find out about this Ace of Cups, right? With the Knight of Wands. So something very passionate, exciting. Here you go. You got the Eight of Wands. So a lot of movement, a lot of communication coming in. Could be from Divine because the Hierophant is the spiritual teacher. The Hierophant is the Divine to me sometimes. Either I mean, you know, King of Swords, Hierophant. The sun all can uh, be representations of your higher self, all right? So some type of spiritual message is coming in. And if it is a person, it could be a Taurus, okay? Um, somebody who's grounded, stable, balanced, very traditional, all right? So something that you want that's traditional, that's like, you know, part of life. You have the High Priestess, which is all about your intuition. So I feel like this has a lot to do with you manifesting and you getting downloads and messages about how to move forward with the tower, right? Because the tower is forcing you to move. It's forcing you or forcing something to uh, come into your life. Ace of Wands, can't make it up, okay? Get ready. That's what Spirit is saying. Get ready, all right? So you got two aces. So there's some type of work that needs to be done. There's something you need to do, but not just yet. Spirit is saying get ready, okay? So let's find out about this Ace of Cups, Spirit. Oh, you know, I'm not in the mood to like... <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> we have the devil. All right, so give me one more for the for the devil. What is this devil with the ace of cups? The four of wands. Wow. You have two beautiful cards <clears throat> that has something to do with some type of obsession or toxic hmm I don't know what is this devil I mean you got like the you got like the angel and then you got the devil and then you got the nine of cups and then you got the lovers and then you got the page of wands wow so somebody wants to come in I said it I said somebody wants to come in somebody wants Somebody's thinking about coming in towards you and you're not talking to this person because why? What is this devil? Who is this devil spirit? Clarify the devil with the ace of cups and the four of wands. Thank you. All right, so the, yeah, this is somebody who wants to come in and build. Why is this person a devil? All right, so somebody wants to come in and bring... The only thing I could think of is that this person is feeling either you're unhappy, very depressed about a new beginning, right? Or somebody is telepathically hoping for a start with you with the lovers, the hyacinth. So this could be somebody that you was married to, okay? Or this could be some type of message from divine in regards to your relationships. <clears throat> Something could be coming together. 
that you're not expecting. Huh. Four swords. Clarify the four swords. So this has somebody in a healing energy, resting energy, meditative state. So somebody's really thinking about a relationship they had with you. You got the four of swords and the ten of swords, okay? So you go from healing to being frustrated and really hurt. It's really hard for you to heal from somebody that you miss. This person misses you or you miss them. And this Ten of Swords is saying that there is an ending. Or you're healing from some type of internal conflict in the mind. Really uh, regretful about a painful situation that ended. All right, so I'm glad the hangman came out here because this person feels like they've gotten clarity in their isolation. Give me one more for the hangman. Thank you. And they're ready to come in moving forward. They've made up their mind. Okay, so this person made up their mind and the tower comes in as soon as they make up their mind okay tower tower what is the tower bringing in that's unexpected when this person chooses to move forward spirit what is this tower five of coins so you go from the three of coins to the five of coins which is the eight of coins this what this person is going through a hard time really trying to f see things with fresh eyes give me one more thing you got the four cups the page of swords and the five of coins with the tower <clears throat> okay so some kind of sudden change is bringing you out of this energy of feeling unappreciated, rejected, and isolated and alone. Okay? Which is good because you had the Ten of Swords, right? So the reason behind your mental anguish is that You're trying to learn something. Because you got the three of coins and you got the page of swords. Uh, the three of coins is all about having something stable or really being um, really trying to figure out how to bring this together. And it's been You've been torturing yourself with trying to come up with some type of... Somebody's been torturing yourself with trying to come up with some type of plan. And enlightenment comes in and a decision is decided. This person says, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go for it, right? I'm just going to go for it with the two of wands, right? And the tower, I don't know if this person's decision causes a tower, but that's what it feels like. This tower comes into their life and they, they want to have a conversation, but they don't want to own up to, they don't want to own up to what they did. Give me one more for the page of swords, queen of wands. Yeah. They don't want to own up to the childish things that they said and did. Okay. Um, this person was very confident in the childish things that they did. They fumbled the ball. They caused themselves to now be alone and feeling um, financially burdened, right? Regretting uh, pouring cups into 
things that didn't serve them, right? They manifested these immature relationships and it cost them. So I feel like this person is really in their head about how they want a new beginning with you, collective. And they're ready to come in and make a decision to face their fears, face this tower, right? And the tower is going to bring revelation to them about how immature they were in their dealings with you, right? And their dealings with others, okay? And so this person has really been in healing mode because you have the four swords and the star, okay? So clarify the star, please, and thank you, Spirit. What is the star? Thank you. What is the star? Oh, see? King of Coins. Didn't I say Capricorn? Energy with the devil. Okay? So this could be a Capricorn. I'm sorry. This is the King of Cups. All right. Hold on, hold on. So we have the King of Cups. We have the devil and we have the Queen of Wands as the mature or immature adults, but as the adults in this reading. Okay? And so somebody is wanting to come in and, you know, really show how they've healed and grown and adulted. Okay. Um, give me more about this King of Cups. Wow. All right. So this person does feel stuck, right, in their head because they're not really sure now that they've gotten this clarity about how they treated you, right? They're not the same person, but they still feel a little scared about bringing in this page of cups, right? Are you gonna Are you gonna accept my apology? I'm not sure. I'm stuck on how to even come in and apologize, but I really, really want this. I really want this with the star. I really want this with the will of fortune. Okay. Um. So now you have the tower. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. Those are two uh, universal energies that move without human interference. Okay? So, this Wheel of Fortune is bringing in some kind of success when this person comes in with an apology. Okay? <laughs> um... Let's find out what this uh, Wheel of Fortune is bringing in with the sun. So I feel like it's going to heal something or you're going to see this person in a different way. Yeah, nine of coins. Yep. Yep, you're going to see this person in a different way. Okay. And um, I feel like this is being guided by... Now you have the sun and you have the moon with the nine of coins, okay? Two major arcanas with the, uh, the almost the damn near the ten of cups, okay? So, not the ten of cups, the, nine of, the ten of coins. So, you know, with the moon and the sun, these are two different, this is night and day, night and day, that's what I'm hearing, night and day. Whatever is faded is like 24 hours. In 24 hours, yo. That's what I'm hearing. If this is your reading, let me know in the comments. Because in 24 hours, you have something very successful coming in through somebody who has matured. Okay? This could be a family member. This could be somebody that, um, you know, you have a connection with. Um, that you're related to or that you were married to, okay? Um, give me more on the, thank you. Yeah, so this is going to put you in a position, first of all, you don't see this is coming, but it's going to put you in a difficult decision. You're going to have to make a decision. Um, it says the sun and the moon. So the sun to me is all about revelation, success, abundance, and the moon is all about withdrawal. Like, I refuse. And I feel like Spirit is saying that whatever this person brings in that's being faded, 
you know, it's I don't know if it's them who's getting the fate, this opportunity to bring it in, like they're making it happen. It's like that one chance, the one thing they wish for, the one thing they was reflecting on, which was the Ace of Cups. It's like, okay, Spirit is saying, okay, um, this is coming in collective towards you. And it's, it, it's, it, it has the opportunity to be very successful. Somebody's ready to come in and own up, bring to light shit that, 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 that they did right the hidden shit that hurt and it's going to put you in a position to make a decision if you're going to accept this apology that's coming in this is simple but it hurt right <clears throat> so you're going to have to make this decision when it comes to this person okay yeah Y'all have a very deep soulmate connection and it's a decision. Are you going to go and, and, and give this person another chance to, you know, develop these, these emotions that they have for you as the King of Cups now, you know, they were in this Capricorn energy and, you know, this person had to realize that the shit they was manifesting didn't do nothing but cause hurt and harm. And so now they get it that you are their person. Like I said, Y'all could have been married, y'all could be a family member, or y'all could just have a very strong soul connection towards each other. And this person wants to come back in and reveal some type of um, decision, some truth. You have the two of swords and you, you don't trust this person, right? I have a decision to see if this person is really being honest with me or not. Yeah. You don't trust them with the seven of swords. I feel like you want to do something with somebody else. Right? I don't trust if this person is, is you know, for me. Like, every time they make plans, can I trust what they do? Can I trust what I'm seeing right now? With the page of wands? Yeah. I don't trust this person's, you know, the page of wands is all about learning, right? And so with the two of swords and then seven of swords, that's the nine of swords. This is your fear of, is this person really coming in this time to do what with the page of wands? Yeah, you got the star again, okay? So I think that you do love this person and miss this person and you want the healing and 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 when they show up it's gonna feel like it is a bright opportunity but you still you know it's like as their spirit is saying um you know i don't know if i could really trust this person i've been hurt and i've been doing the healing right but somebody wants to come in and bring some type of tough you know, conflict that happened between y'all. Nine of Swords, the Towers here, yeah. Somebody's manifesting this. They're manifesting, coming in. Nine and five is 14 Swords, which is the Five of Swords. I really need to come in and fix this, right? It's been burdening, 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 I can't talk, burdening this person. And they want to come in now that they see they have the opportunity to do so with the star. Right? Um, yeah. Especially you got Manifest and you got Emperor. And the Ace of Swords. Yeah. This person really wants to come in and bring light to the things that they did with Manifestation here, the Magician. And they want to bring to light something better than before. They want to balance out these five of cups and the temperance yeah i want to balance out abandoning you what i did to you right yeah and they they they, they see you as their queen of coins they see you as somebody very abundant and successful but they also know that you're hurt with the three of swords okay and this person wants to come in and heal what was broken they want to heal you uh financially they want to heal Y'all connection. They want the whole shebang. All right. So <clears throat> let's find out a few things. I got like five more minutes. 
<laughs> I bought myself a timer. I was not playing because I was doing 50, 50, 50, 50 trillion video times. And I'm like, people got things to do. They ain't got time to be sitting. No matter how juicy the reading is, we still got things to do. Right? All right. So I want to find out a few things about this person and what they did. Um, to cause the hurt because it's it's there but it's not there like this nobody's taught it just talks about the five of coins and the the four of cups and the five of cups and so I know it has to do with money abandonment and you know love like you really hurt me you really made some really dumbass choices when it came to our connection okay and so you know let's see what's going on at the bottom of the deck it says I will wait for you so this person is willing to take their time to allow you to trust them again thank you spirit okay thank you spirit what else this person wants to say please oh man all that as soon as I said that everything came out I enjoy being with you so this person wants to let you know that they do miss the connection that y'all had keep your options open um, I feel like, you know, you felt like an option with this person, right? Even if y'all was married, they still had you as an option. Maybe they had you an option towards work. They spent more time at work than they did, you know, trying to, you know, it's just people be having issues in their relationships trying to find communication and balance, okay? I can't wait forever, right? So, I feel like this is a back and forth conversation between the both of you, right? You're telling this person, keep your options open. I'm not waiting forever. Um, and I think that's probably what you said to them the last time, you know? I don't know. Let's keep going because this could go either way. Spirit, give me another one, please. Thank you. Tell me more about what this person wants to say to my collective because I feel like this is you collective, right? I enjoy being with you. But I don't trust you, right? Like it's a it's a it's a catch twenty two with you, right? As soon as I let my guard down, you hurt me. That's why you telling this person keep your options open. I need time to heal, so you're still healing. That's what that force was. Remember, I was like the Ace of Cups came in with the devil and all of them people, and then you sitting here minding your own motherfucking business, and the boom, the tower will come up. So I'm trying to figure out why collect um um why would <laughs> spirit allow this tower to come in I could be myself around you so I feel like this person I had they fair share of you know rendezvous and they like uh, you know I can't even really be myself I'm putting on all these this person's mask have come off they can't put on masks no more they want to be they self I have a crush on you see yeah this person gonna come in flirting that's why we saw the night of wands and that's why you feel like, I don't know about this motherfucker. <laughs> I don't care how independent and how you may look like you've changed on the outside. I don't know, right? I'm still trying to heal. Like, let me just be me. Let me just do me. Mm. Oh, we almost done. One more collective. One more. Two more. Thank you, spirit. All right, so we have forgive me. So Z, they're going to come out with it, but they still want to let you know they're attracted to you. Stop making excuses. And I feel like you're just going to tell this person, man the fuck up and stop pretending. I don't trust your ass. I don't care how much of this, you know, nine of coins energy you bring it in. But at the end of the day, I don't really trust you. Even if you do have a crush on me, I have moved on. See? And that's going to be a hard thing to say, especially with, um, you know, this person coming in with the sun and the stars and the coins. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you here? <laughs> oh, okay. That's why you here? Well, I have moved on. I have moved on. And they're going to be jealous. Let them. Let them. You don't get what you want when you want, right, Collective? You don't get what you want when you want. If this resonated with you, don't forget to leave a comment. Hit that like button. It helps. And I appreciate you taking the time to check in with Miss Smooth. This was a little energy check. So, you know, keep your head up. Keep your head up. I'm hearing that by Tupac. <laughs> All right, boo-boo. Love you, handsome. Bye.